So Jesus was walking along, and he saw a man who had been born blind since his birth. Jesus' disciples said, so teacher, why is this guy born blind? Was it because he or his parents sinned? Jesus said, no, it wasn't. But because of his blindness, you will see God work a miracle for him. As long as it is day, we must do what the one who sent me wants me to do. When night comes, no one can work. While I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. After Jesus said this, he spit on the ground. He made mud. He smeared it on the man's eyes and he said, go and wash off the mud in Siloam's pool. The man went, washed in Siloam, which means one who is sent. And when he had washed off the mud, he could see. So heaven and earth had a disagreement here. Earth is saying, why? Heaven is saying, I am the light of the world. Jesus doesn't even answer the question. Just simply goes to and says, I'm it. So the question is this. What is the why that keeps us from believing that Jesus himself is the answer for our issues? So as we think about how to pray, just underscore this beautiful little phrase, but because of his blindness, you will see God work a miracle for him because of our issues, because of our weaknesses, because of our impotence, he will be potent. He himself is the answer for us. The whys get in the way. So as we think about now praying, how do we lay down the whys? Let's pray about this. How do we lay down the whys that keep us from receiving Jesus the miracle? pray and say, Jesus, you are the light of our world. Turn the lights on. Where we have questions, where there's wonderment, you be our light. You be the one that opens our blinded eyes. So Jesus, walk with us. Mm -hmm.